Well, safety should always come first. The Korean government is trying to back up that model with action by educating more young people on public safety. It's planning to strengthen students' safety education programs and offer more hands-on training. Our Park Ji-won reports from the city of Tebek, where one of Korea's biggest safety training centers is located. Since last year's tragic ferry disaster that claimed hundreds of innocent young lives, people have pointed to the lack of public safety education in Korea. In response, the nation's education ministry is aiming to strengthen public safety education for students. The nation grieved over the Sewolho ferry tragedy. Life and safety are top priorities for the Park Geun-hye administration, and we aim to give students public safety education to prevent such a tragedy from recurring. Although the current law stipulates that students undergo 44 hours of public safety education per year, only six of those hours are related to disaster prevention. And most of the time is spent in lectures with few opportunities for hands-on training. So on Thursday, the education minister paid a visit to Korea's largest public safety education center located in Tebek, Gangwon-do province, to take a tour. The facility, called 365 Safe Town, provides hands-on training from life-saving techniques to three-dimensional disaster simulations. The ministry is considering establishing MOUs with safety awareness facilities such as this to provide kids with public safety education that's both fun and effective. More than ever, we need to raise awareness about public safety among students. We will introduce policies so that public safety awareness facilities like this can be part of students' education. This month, the Education Ministry will also designate 51 schools nationwide as locations for a pilot program for public safety. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, Tebek.